Hey guys, Jason here, and today I'm going to be doing a what is on my iPhone video. This is my fourth what is on my iPhone video. I have done one the past four years. Yeah, I believe this is my fourth year. Um, on December 30th, and today is currently Monday, December 30th at 8.12 p.m. 2019. So, without further ado, let's get started. So starting off with my phone, the iPhone I have is the iPhone 11 in product red, 128 gigabytes. Uh, the case I have on it is this Apple silicone case. Yeah, um, my wallpaper is Santa Claus holding like some magic or something. I think that's what it's supposed to be. I'm not exactly sure. Um, so I'm just going to read the apps and then show them that's how I've done it and it works. So on the first page I have is messages, calendar, photos, camera, maps, clock, WT forecast. Uh, what that is, it's, it's a weather app, but it says phrases depending on what the weather is outside. So I'll show you. So it says, shush your face. It's not hot outside. Where I live, it's currently 72 degrees. So let's pick a place like, let's see, Breckenridge, Colorado. It's really cold outside. You should find someone to get in bed with. It's five degrees. Feels like five high of 21 and a low of negative 3. All right. Then I have news, wallet, watch, notes, reminders, iTunes store, app store, books, TV, health, settings, and then in the little bar, I have phone, mail, safari, music. So there's that. And then on the next page, I have a folder that's just called folder. They used to be called extras. Um, and in that, I have two pages. On the first page, I have compass, voice memos, contacts, calculator, measure, a fraction calculator, photo math, grade proof, which is like, I believe it's an app to help you organize like assignments you have to do. I don't really know. I've honestly never really used it. But that is my first page. Then on the next one, I have Quizlet, Grammarly, uh, the homework app, Snap Math, and Podcast. Whatever the owl one is. I don't know how to say it. So, yeah. Okay, and then continuing on my second page, I have Tips, FaceTime, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, Find My, Apple Store, Facebook, Messenger, eBay, Amazon, Starbucks, Starbucks Emoji Keyboard, Let Go, Google, Nine News, Target, Cartwheel, Shazam, Google Translate, We Heart It, Coke Emojis, and Pepsi Emojis. So that is my first page. Um, I believe all these are the same for my last post on my iPhone. I'm not exactly sure. Um, then I have Gyrosphere, Pinterest, Flip a Coin, which is exactly what it sounds like. Let me turn my brightness down. Just a little. which I can get rid of, because now you can ask Siri to flip a coin for you. Then I have Yelp, Apple TV Remote, uh, Dripler, Craftsy Band, uh, Snow, which is like Snapchat, but it's filters, uh, Block Hexa, which is a puzzle game, so I'll just show you real quick. No, I won't. The app quit. Okay. Then I have Groupon, 
GTA 5 cheats, which I play that game enough that I know them, so I can probably get rid of that. QR reader, which it scans like barcodes, it's actually pretty helpful. Uh, Google Earth cheats for GTA, and that one is just for all the Grand Theft Auto games. Uh, then I have files, Uno, Uno Friends, Clips, Deal Dash, Activity, Highway Rider, uh, Temple Run, Best Buy, Temple Run 2, and Mario Run. Okay, and then on my next page, I have Sleep Plus, which it just tracks your sleep. If you wear your Apple Watch to bed, which I don't know how it how well it really works because on let me find it. Okay, um, where is it? Okay, anyways, I don't know where it is, but one of these, so this app just updated, I think, to become more accurate, and before this app updated a while ago, it said I, yeah, here we go, Friday, January 19th, I slept from 5.13 a.m. to 7.07 p.m. One hour, 109 hours and 54 minutes I slept. No. I did not sleep that long, so. But the rest seemed pretty accurate, so it was before it updated, so. Yeah. Then I have Smashy Dude, which is... Um, a game where you harm someone... At, you harm this, like, dummy ragdoll kind of thing, so you, like, electrocute the thing or something, and you get points for hurting it. Yeah. Then I have the Smithsonian Channel, the Taylor Swift app, Bingo Party, Leo AR Camera, which... I can't really show you because it'd be hard to show you, but it's like an augmented reality. So you could put like a Santa Claus on your bed or something. Um, and I think it only works, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it only works with iPhone 8 and above, I believe. I'm not sure. Then I have the Google Home app. Then I have Jib Jab, which I think is like... A singing app? I'm not exactly sure. Let me look. Yeah, so you make like weird videos. I have to sign up for it, but I believe that's what it is. Then I have TikTok, Blur Editor, which you can take a photo and blur the background or something. Or blur someone's face. It's really cool. Then I have a speed test to test the Wi-Fi, YouTube, my noise, which is like a white noise app, Bitmoji, Pic, Pix Art, which yeah, you can like make postcards or something. Uh, TLC Go, TV Land, Fandango, Star Maker, which Star Maker is pretty much t like TikTok, YouTube Studio, uh. Beer GIF, uh, which I'll show you. <laughs> Hopefully they're appropriate. I haven't opened this app in a really long time. Oh. There's an ad. Okay, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay. Yeah, so it's a bunch of beer like GIFs, which I'm sure you could just search in the um, message bar if you use this. Uh, Speechify, which helps you with translations. Or, yeah, and you can also 
scan like a book or something like a page in a book and it will read it out loud so that's really helpful but you only get a free trial for like a week and then you have to pay for it so I don't use this app anymore and I have social blade which I believe just tells you how many followers and subscribers you have and it alerts you if it if you want it to when you get a new subscriber or when someone unsubscribes or someone unfollows you or something then I have the Nickelodeon do not touch app which is like another AR app and this works on all iPhones I believe and like I said I can't well like I said earlier I can't really show you because I don't know how to like hold my phone at a flat object and show the cam yeah and I don't know how to put screen recordings in videos so that's why I do this so there's that page okay my next page is I have art and culture which is a history app by Google and I think you take yeah you can take a picture of something so say you go to Washington and take a picture of the White House it will tell you information about it or you can search for something it's really cool then I have SIM game Sarah is missing so this is like um, a mystery game where you supposedly find this girl's phone and you look through it and this girl's been murdered and it's really weird then I have GarageBand, GameStop, Nick, Mac Tracker, which shows you like a bunch of Apple, old Apple computers, uh, notebooks. So like the iBook, the MacBook, MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, PowerBook uh, devices. So iPhone, iPad, iPod, Newton everything that Apple's had. So if we click on iPhone, it shows you every iPhone and this is updated so far all the way up to the iPhone 10R. So not quite updated with the 11s yet. So then I have Twist Click Duck, which is an Oreo game. Um, then I have Zillow, Apple support battery life, which I can get rid of. It doesn't work with phones running iOS 11 or above anymore. Then I have Prank Dial, Netflix, Xbox, Domino's, Sleep Fan, which is another white noise app, uh, Publix, which is the grocery store, like supermarket where I live, um, Storm Shield, Transit, uh, Bite Squad, CBS, Dictionary, Reflecty, which I should use more often. You can reflect how your day was, if it was good, bad, st stressful, or anything, which I should use. Looper, which is a game. Uh, Focus, which is my school's grading system. That's how I see my grades and stuff. So, there's that up. Page. Okay. <laughs> and then on my next one, I have Spotify. Now you may be wondering why I have Spotify if I use Apple Music. I only use Spotify on my Xbox, and if I want to add a song, it's just easier to do it on the phone. And plus, I don't think you can do it through the Xbox, so that's why I have it. Then I have Celebrity Voice Filter seven colors which is a color by number app it's actually pretty cool then i have urban dictionary duolingo uh brainly <coughs> igtv which is instagram tv siri shortcuts daily yoga elementano um, which is an AR app. Again, I can't, well, maybe I can show you this one. Yeah. 
So you just click on single player and click the check. <coughs> yeah, see? So let me see if I can register Black Circus really quick. It doesn't work. Yeah, it has to be. Oh, well, wait, maybe. Yeah, see, it's got clouds. It's really cool. <coughs> okay. Then it, I have Memorize, which is another, like, language app, so you can memorize a different language. Um, Facetune, Sam's Club. Spanish translator, which I use so much in my sophomore year because I took Spanish and I didn't know anything. Then I have Adobe Creative Cloud, My Mail, which is an email app, um, Secret Starbucks Secret Drink Menu, uh, which I don't use, White Noise, Diddy. Um, which I believe I showed in my last What's on my iPhone video. I can't show now because it's not a thing anymore. It doesn't work. So, yeah. Pac-Man, Wish, LastPass, Focus, which is like an app for the iPhones that don't have portrait. I think it makes like a portrait filter. And then I have Kahoot. There's that. Okay, then on my next page, I have Truth or Dare, Milk Factory, Reverse Phone Lookup, which is where you can look up a phone number and it will tell you uh, who, who the account's with, Song Pop, for you guys, pop songs, Kick, Cardiogram, which is a watch app to track your heart stuff. Um, BitLife, Golf Orbit, which if any of you ever play that, comment down below if you've ever gotten into Orbit. I don't know where I am. I haven't played it a long time because I got frustrated with the game. Uh, Brown Masters, Color by Number, cut, Copy Paste, Buzz Feed, Pick Collage, the Google Assistant, VPN, an app from school, VR Archery, Countdown, Open Table, Rad, VHS, which actually is kind of cool. So. So let's. It like films in a retro camera style. It's really cool. Then I have Brick Break 3D, AFV, Signal, which the reason I downloaded Signal is because I wanted one of my friends to use it and they won't. It is a message app like iMessage and it tells you if the person read it and stuff. Cause she has an Android and I don't like green message bubbles. And then I draw it. Um, then I have WPTV, which is my uh, news app here in Florida. Minecraft Wiki, which tells you a bunch about Minecraft, I guess. I've never really used it. Statue of Liberty. Tells you facts about the Statue of Liberty, Sky View, Traffic Run, Subway Surfers, Reverse Video, which um, I suggest Reverse Video if you have TikTok and they say put these videos in reverse. This helps so much. It's really cool. Um, Gumballs, which is a game where you just 
fill fill lines. Yeah. Um, rope rescue, ragdoll dismount, hand guillotine, origami, hammer jump, halo ball, perfect slices, kick me up, easy snap, polysphere, uh, WPECWX, which is, I guess, another weather app. Don't know. Bottle flip, background, which I'm going to know what the background is. Let me look, because I don't. Oh. I don't know what it does, but I have to pay for it, and I'm not paying for it. Logo test, doodle blast, sandballs. Sorry, I'm coughing. I recently had laryngitis, and I'm still coughing. Then I have Sandwich, which is a fun game. So you have to like make a sandwich out of this. Bye. Um, color hold, puzzle, puzzle, remind, which <coughs> is an app for like my teacher to text me, uh, quizzes, collect cubes, tidy up, Microsoft Word, movie poster maker, neon splash, wrecking ball, uh, mystery Pocket, Clean Up 3D, Color Land, Stuff Them All, Mr. Bullet, FedEx, Mario Kart, Xfinity Mobile, Happy Glass, Bubble Wrap, Audible, Kindle, Tiny Leaps. And Bubble Wrap is exactly what it sounds like. You just pop the bubbles. Yeah. Uh, so there's that page. Okay, and then on my next page I have Trivia Crack 2, Google Duo, which I've never used so I don't know how it works, Bricks and Balls, Xfinity Hotspot, Drop and Smash, Pimp Your Screen. So Pimp Your Screen is a wallpaper app which is no longer in the App Store. But since I already had it, it's still on my phone. Uh, Pocket Video, Dr. Mario World, Walmart, um, Art Ball, Schoology, which is um, an app for my US history class, uh, Acme Intelligence. Don't download the app, it doesn't really work. Um, Kingpin Bowling, Where's the Floor, Domino Smash, Walkie Talkie, uh, Laser Clean 3D, Sirius XM, Wallpapers, Chick-fil-A, Happy Wheels, Coca-Cola, Pizza Hut, and Eco. Uh, I downloaded Walkie Talkie because of something on Snapchat. Didn't work. Just haven't deleted it. Okay, and then on my last page, I have guest emoji, capture the magic, where you can like take a picture of your Christmas tree and put Santa Claus in front of it. It's really cool. Hollow cam, which I don't know what that is. M Taylor, which I was gonna try just to see what it says. Uh, brain 3D, which is like a brain you set. Color swipe and Ice Cream Incorporated. Yeah. All right, that is everything that's on my iPhone. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next year in 2020. See you later.